Hi there, Taurus. How are you guys doing? I really hope that this video finds you well. Welcome to your reading back with me again, Anissa from the Inner Serio. This is going to be your love general messages. The format is going to be you versus them. I'm going to be pulling card about who is it that we're going to be talking about today and what their energy currently is like, your challenges, past, present, and future from both parties, and advice by the end of the session. Keep in mind that this is a general reading, so the rules might get reversed or it may or may not resonate with you. And if this reading resonates with you, there's going to be a link down the description box below for a personal reading with me and don't forget to check your sun moon rising and Venus sign okay let's do it taurus oh wow eh. Taurus. So um, you might be dealing with a Capricorn here or a Scorpio or a Pisces. That's as far as I can see right now. Or a Gemini or a Virgo or a Taurus. But anyway, this person's energy, they have all these major arcanas. And the thing is that in tarot, my major arcanas is very important because it's not human doing, but it's much more about divine intervention. So I do feel that this person right now is dealing with like a lot of shocking moments in their life. There's going to be like a lot of upheavals that they're dealing with. And what it does towards them is that so that they could come up to a much more solid decisions and they could also see things from a different perspective. So if you're dealing with someone who has a tendency to be unable to see, you know, another person's perspective, a lack of empathy, I would say, then whatever it is that is happening or is going to happen towards them is going to push them to a point where they would have that ability. So I do feel that there's like a lot of things that is going on within this person's life that is actually going to be helpful for them in order to build on a relationship, whether it be with you or whether it be with someone else. But it's a very like a, a maturing type of energy that I'm seeing here. Your challenges here, Taurus, you have the Six of Cups and you also have the Lovers. Your challenges here has a lot to do with you holding on to where it's something. I would say it's much more about you. There is a particular history or there is a particular memory that you're very fond of when it comes to these connections. And without you even knowing that these memories that you're very fond of is actually clouding your judgment in regards to <coughs> a healthy love in general. I'm sorry. <coughs> a healthy love in general. Okay, and there's also about, I do feel that for some of you, you might also be, and I'm actually having this idea because I just coughed, and when we're talking about cough, it's the throat chakras, right? And you have the lovers, ruled by Mercury, so I do feel that for some of you as well, there is a bitter memories of the past, okay? Something happening, something bad that is happening in the past that you haven't fully communicated towards this person, and that is also one of the reasons why this connection is still weighing you down. All right. So in the past, this person is the Ten of Swords and also the Seven of Pentacles. From your side, you have the Hierophant and you also have the Six of Swords. So I do feel that you try to commit to this person. You try to uphold towards whatever promises that you make towards this person. You try to show up towards this person, okay? But I do also feel that in the past, you were also respecting yourself and you're also trying to move to calmer water. If things are muddy, if things are confusing, if things are just basically toxic, you would want to put some self-respect onto your name. That's why you just want to move to calmer water. This person kind of like kind of like get hurt because of the fact that you're respecting yourself, that you're putting yourself first. Because I do feel that with the seven of pentacles in here, this person was waiting on you to do something. But I think in the past, you did something that is very unexpected which is not giving this person much of any energy of ex or, or basically you're not giving them what you know that they want from you so maybe they would want you to beg for them or they would want you to convince them to do something or they would want to have your attention but the way in which they do it you don't like it so you put like a lot of respect towards yourself and it's like okay i'm not gonna be doing stuff i'm, go I'm not gonna be nice to you if you're not nice to me that's your energy in the past in the present moment, they have the Page of Wands and also the Knight of Wands. From your side, you have the King of Wands and you also have the Ace of Wands. But funnily enough, this King of Wands and Ace of Wands is not facing towards this connection. 
I do feel that there's something here that excites you. I think you found your mojo back again, Taurus. And if you haven't in the now, you are going to be soon. There's something here that is going to be catching your attention. It's going to be probably someone else. It could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, a new person. Or it could actually be something that makes you excited again. You know, like, oh, I'm suddenly excited about doing this. Or I'm suddenly excited about doing my work. But there's something here that you're going to be excited about or you are excited about and you just want to be pursuing that and the more that you're pulling away those energies from this person the more that this person becomes very curious about you like oh wait a minute where is taurus going what is taurus up to why is taurus no longer giving me the energy that they once used to give me and etc and it kind of like makes them excited about what to do in regards to this connections so we're going to clarify this is okay now, in the future, I just don't feel that you're focused on this anymore, though. And it's funny because this is what comes out, right? And you probably are disappointed why we're still talking about this, Anissa, but this is what comes out. Because again, Ace of Swords, Three of Wands, you're not looking at this. It doesn't interest you. It will not interest you anymore. You found clarity. You're excited about what lies ahead for your life in the future whatever things that this person is going to be pulling in the future with the king of swords here this masterful chess player you're just not going to be engaging you're not going to be entertaining it which is actually i like it because i'm not really a fan of this king of swords in this deck of mine but anyway let's clarify now let's get into your reading now i want to clarify from your side first with the present let's clarify the king of wands Four of Cups, yeah, I told you, you're not interested. If you're still interested, you're not going to be interested. Because there's an unfinished business that is going on between the both of you. So let's say, for instance, if this person were to be coming around to you, I don't think that you're going to be available for this person because this person would need to explain the unfinished business that both of you had with one another. And you, you're stubbornly like, I don't want to be the one who initiates that. It has to be them. And if they don't initiate that, then fine. I can sit with that. I can sleep with that. I'm fine with that decision anyway. So you're very strong. Let's see the Ace of Wands from your side. Temperance. Three of Wands. And the Five of Cups. It saddens you. It saddens you to be in this energy. To basically be in cold and not wanting to initiate anything, not to solve anything, it, it, it saddens you, but you feel that it's a must, it's necessary for you to do that because you need to bring balance back into your life. For some of you, this thing has been going on for quite a while. It could be three weeks, three months, three years, I don't know. But it's like, it's more about you looking back and be like, wow, like I wasted so much time being in anxieties or being depressed and forgetting about other aspects of my life because of this connection and i'm not going to do that again so there's the regret from your side but it's not much more about the regret of you losing this person it's more about losing the time that you wasted on this person now let's clarify from their side with the page of wands there magician the page of cups and the full card Let's see the Nine of Wands. Oh, yeah. Now, suddenly, all of a sudden, this person just wants you. Again. At first, they watch you, right? At first, they watch you. They're like, okay, I'm kind of like quite interested in what Taurus is up to. Why is it that they're not doing anything? But they're seeing you manifesting your life again. Regardless of the timing, I said this is present, okay, but people live in a different timeline, okay? But this won't happen when you're still crying over this person, when you're still desperate, when you're still anxious about this person, okay? This will only happen when you start respecting yourself and then you basically carry it on and be interested in something, trying to balance out your life. And they start seeing you like, wow. Look at it. This is a Taurus that I used to, I once admired. This is the energy that I once admired about Taurus. Let me do something about Taurus. I'm going to take a giant leap of faith towards Taurus. If you're single and ready to mingle, I do see you guys attracting a lot of people. You know, there are minimum two people who is actually interested in you, whether you realize it or not. 
because I do feel that your energy is not really 100% focused on love anyway, okay? Now, the Knight of Wands, clarified by the Queen of Cups, the Eight of Pentacles, and also the Chariot, suddenly they want you. All of a sudden, this person, boom, wants you. Wants to be putting in the work towards you. I just don't feel that you guys are interested, though. Because you wasted some time with this person. Suddenly they're like, we can work it out. But there's like a lot of like, with the magician card here, there's like a lot of like talks or words, you know what I mean? Like words, words, words. You're not interested in words, you're interested in actions. You want this person to be initiating how to solve the problem. And if that's not what they're doing, then you're not interested. It seems to me as if like this person wants to pick up where they left off instead of like, really wanting to dig deep and solve the problem. And that's something that kind of like disinterest you here. You want to take it slow. This person wants you suddenly, all of a sudden, like, boom, this person wants you. They're coming to you fast. So it's not, if it's not happening now, it's going to happen like really, really soon. But I just don't think that you're interested. Let's see the King of Swords here from their side. And actually, I want to see the Ace of Swords here first. I want to see what clarity you're having here. Clarify the Ace of Swords for me, please. <clears throat> Five of Wands, the Ten of Wands, the Hermit. Okay, let's see the Three of Wands from your side as well. The Devil, the Ten of Swords. You're seeing this as something that is toxic. I think whatever happened within this connection traumatizes you. Three of Swords is under the deck, right? It went through a point, you were at a point where this hurt you so much to a point where you lost yourself. You forget who you are. You forget what you do, who you do it for. You forget it. You were giving energy towards someone who is cold, who is mean towards you. So in the future, I do feel that there's like a, a lot of like maturing. There's like a lot of like clarity that comes out. A lot of radical acceptance of what it is, you know what I mean? I think one of the reasons why you're having difficulties on having that radical acceptance has a lot to do with you still clinging on to stories, right? That you're creating inside of your head or like the fantasies of what it was, how it should be, the fantasies that we built on together. I don't want to lose it. But I think in the future, you're going to come to a point where it's like, I need to stop this because it's doing nothing but just... um causing like a lot of chaotic energy within my life. It's no longer that battle of like mind and heart no more. It's more about like your mind knows that this is the best thing to do and you're going to do it. You're going to do it. Three ones clarified by the devil, the ten of swords and the nine of wands. So even if you want to redo it again, you're seeing it through the lens of skepticism. Like, I don't want, like, even if I want to go back to this, I don't want it to be as toxic as it was before because it was toxic for you, right? The devil, the ten of swords, it did trigger, like, a lot of insecurities from your side. It did trigger, like, a lot of, like, dark night of the soul type of moment. And you don't want to go through that again. Now, let's clarify the king of swords from their side. <clears throat> Four of Wands, King of Pentacles, and also the Tower. So the ten so it's like this person has this tendency to split. And you hate it because you're an earth sign. Earth sign really likes something that is stable, especially your fixed sign as well, right? Like you like something stable. This person is not providing you with any type of stability. So there are times when this person is like, again, showed up. This person is gonna show up, right? Like if it's not happening now, it's gonna happen like probably really, really soon. So Creating some happy moment and showing up to you, wanting you to trust them and everything like that. But then all of a sudden, boom, something's happening. But it's deliberate. It's purposeful. It's intentional here with the King of Swords. Let's see the Four of Pentacles. The Lovers. Emperor. 
Six of Cups. It's crazy because this person do want you. This person can let you go, though. So they would try to do all ways in order for, for them to get you. Whether it be through healthy ways or whether it be through unhealthy ways. They just cannot afford to lose you. This person feels that both of you had shared so many mem memories. Or they do like the sweet memories that both of you had with one another. They feel that this is a crazy soul ties. They, they feel that it's obsessive. It's obsessive, um, Taurus. It's a very obsessive energy, the way that I'm seeing here. It's like they have this core belief that the divine or the universe have made you and them together and there's no way that you guys can be separated. So it's very obsessive. And when people are way too obsessive, again, there's that highs and lows. There's that, yeah, just highs and lows. So let's pull some advice care for you here, Taurus. The lovers, the devil, the three of pentacles in reverse, and also the sun card. The advice for you in regards to those connections is that you needing to find yourself at first. Because I think I've said this, I've forgotten which reading was it, which sign I mean. But sometimes people can confuse the lovers and also the devil because they are similar, but they're different in so many ways. They look similar, don't they? They got two people. They look very similar. And sometimes people have a difficulties in differentiating be between a healthy love and an unhealthy love. And I think this is your case here. So before you do anything in regards to a connections, because maybe not all of you are dealing with a bad person, maybe just some of you, right? So before you put into your energy, to collaborate with this person, to compromise with this person. I think the first step that you need to do here, first and foremost, Taurus, is to find yourself again with the sun card here. Find what makes you happy. Find what makes you elevated. Find what makes you feel very joyful. Find what makes you alive again. And then you revisit this thing. And what do you think of it? Do you think it's a lover or do you think it's a devil? But this decision cannot be made unless you find yourself first. Because if not, then there is a big chance that you're going to be confusing between the lovers and also the devil's energy. All right? So I think that is it for my reading for you here, Taurus. I hope that you find tons and tons of clarity that you've been looking for. And I hope you have a great week ahead. All right, bye-bye, guys. Have a great day. I love you.